Hello, welcome everybody to my first video of Rowan 2. Today I'm going to guide you through the basics of your stat distribution. And in the next video I'm going to go into the basics of which gear you should choose that has a direct relation to the stats. So let's get into it. So currently I'm just grinding some mobs in Black Dragon Sanctuary, just chilling out. Um, here you can see my stats distribution. I'll open as well the notepad that I made to show you guys what kind of extra statistics you get out of the stats that you put in. So um, let's get straight into it. I divided this into physical and magical. So if you're a character that does physical damage, you need to focus on these stats. Magical damage, you can focus on these stats. And to be honest, if you're magical, you can of course also invest in vitality. So what is very important is that physical attack and physical penetration uh, comes down to almost the same. They don't exactly work the same, but you will do almost the same damage, which means that regardless if you put your point into dex, agility or strength, if you're a physical damage dealer, your damage will be the same, but the secondary stat that you get is very different. And I'll get to that in a moment. So for vitality, I think it's straightforward. You get some health, which you can see here, and some magic and physical defense, which will reduce all damage that you take. For magical, it's again the same. If you put your stats into Wiz or Intel, you get either Magic Pen or Magic Attack. These will result in similar damage. However, the additional benefits that you get are quite different. So to go into the extra benefits, first let's get into the ones that are the most straightforward, that are HP and MP regeneration. So if you build a lot of Intel, you're gonna have a lot of MP regen, which means that you don't need mana pots, most likely, and that you don't need to focus on MP regen on your gear. Similarly, if you build full strength, you get HP regen. That means that you need less HP potions, depending on the damage that you take, and you can focus on MP regeneration. And this is important because once you get further into the game, I'm currently level 80, 80 plus, uh, once you get Beyond 50, you get multiple skills that you can cast, you get multiple AOE skills, and these are very beneficial to leveling. And these skills are gonna consume a lot of mana. So up to a point where either the cost of buying MP pots goes up a lot, or where you cannot use MP potions fast enough to regen your mana. So having mana regeneration on your gear is gonna help a lot in grinding faster because you're not limited by your mana. You're only limited by your skills cooldown time. Similarly, if you don't have the best gear or the best stats, you uh, might want to invest in some more HP regeneration to be able to survive. You can see currently these monsters hit me one damage, so for me the MP regeneration is more important than the HP regeneration. But if you take more damage, then you might want to invest in more HP regen. So now to the accuracy and the evasion part. This is a bit more difficult because this consists of two parts. One, you can distribute stats, as you can see here, and for example, dexterity, and with it, you gain a lot of physical accuracy, or you can put a lot of stats in agility and gain a lot of evasion. But alone, these stats don't mean that much because your total chance to hit or miss depends a lot on the level of your own character and the level of whatever you're hitting. These monsters are a bit lower than I am, and even though I have very little agility, a little from a passive, they will still miss me quite some. I also don't have much evasion on my boots, by the way. So this is because level adjustment uh, does a lot to your agility, or does a lot to your accuracy, and does a lot to your evasion. If you are a lot higher level than whatever you're hitting, then your chance to hit that target goes up by a lot. If you are a lot lower, then it goes down. So for example, I am level 80, target is level 85. That means that I have a, a much lower chance of hitting this target because it's 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 level 85. Similarly, if uh, I am 85 and the target is only level 80, then that means that I have a lot higher chance to hit him and he has a lot lower chance to hit me. So the level adjustment for your accuracy and evasion is much more important than the stats that you put in. And I still went full dexterity because most monsters hit me, hit me one damage. I'm doing a lot of bosses that are higher level than me, so the little benefit of the accuracy will make me hit a little bit more, even though they're high level. But the most important thing to just guarantee more misses on you and more hits on the enemy is just leveling up. Um, I think that's about it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, learned something, and look forward to the next one.